As a boy, Davis Finney watched a race that became the beginning of a dream. Sometimes it seems incredibly tough. Only with a team, you don't even think about quitting. Here are some familiar pictures. Davis Finney, arms thrust skyward in victory. When I was first diagnosed with Parkinson's, I had had a relatively flourishing TV career <laughs> following up on the heels of a good pro bike racing career. I was really starting to notice a decline in my physical capacity and my mental acuity uh, for, for my job. And then, of course, with Parkinson's, the most overt symptoms start coming, and I started to get this shaky hand. As I started to research into Parkinson's, and I looked at my age, and I realized that, uh, you know, there's no cure at the moment for this disease, and I'm only going to get worse, and, uh, you know, things down the line could look pretty grim for me for a guy who's who's just survived on being healthy and being physically fit and active and productive. It's difficult when you're first diagnosed because, you know, your main, in, your primary instinct is to not want to, to show any signs of the disease overtly. Your friends probably notice more than you think and yet they're afraid to ask. Telling your kids is a complex issue, or it, it was for us. I was really young when my dad was first diagnosed. I was five years old. My dad was diagnosed with Parkinson's when I was 11, 10 or 11. In my case, I used the Parkinson's diagnosis as an excuse to spend more time with my kids. I think originally they viewed it as a, not such a bad thing, but everyone is different and it depends on your kid's age. Our whole family is really close because of it. But I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. I mean, it's, it's hard being a little kid with a dad that has noticeable uh, physical symptoms. All of the little things matter and it's okay to get scared or be frustrated with the disease, whether you have it or if you have a family member who has it. But ultimately, you know, my dad is still my dad. It's hard to think about Parkinson's as something that you're overcoming because it is, you know, the stemming of decline. But there is that day-to-day -day sense of, of overcoming this disease and, and being happy and living a fulfilling life. Winning with Parkinson's, to me, means having more good moments throughout any single day than bad moments. Whether that's being able to get out for a bike ride or a hike or even just a walk, or else having a good meal or enjoying time with your family and friends. These are all elements that if you really pay attention to them, they can magnify your sense of well-being versus minimizing it, which is what the disease will do if you focus on that. Living with Parkinson's takes a certain amount of courage. Living well takes a little bit more. And because you have to not be afraid to step outside your comfort zone, even within the confines of the disease, you can regain and reclaim some of your function, but you have to be willing to put yourself out there. If you let it, the disease will come in like a cloud, but the key is to look past the cloud and look for good elements in your day. Exercise is part of, of the plan, but it's not the whole plan. There's introspection and mindfulness which come into play. Mindfulness meaning paying attention to what's happening right here, right now, and enjoying that aspect, looking for the positive instead of the negative. 
I find it's not so hard to exercise per se once you're actively doing it. I'm an advocate of taking down barriers for exercise. If you have to wear some special clothes or, or, or go to a gym or, or, or do something that, that you feel is like a psychological barrier, then take that barrier down. Just exercise in the clothes that you're, you have on. As a lifelong athlete, I'm used to getting over the hump of, of bad days and, and forcing myself to get out because I know it's good for me in the long run. And, and my goals are entirely different now from when I was a competitive cyclist. But that doesn't mean it's less important. It's actually more important now for me to exercise and maintain my vitality and my physical function and my, and my good attitude and my morale. It's in those days where you just don't really feel up for doing anything that you gotta remind yourself, well, this is gonna maybe make today better, but it'll for sure make tomorrow better. Here's what I know about Parkinson's disease, is that you cannot afford to be passive in your approach. And that's applicable whether we're talking about dealing with your own day-to-day -day management or your interaction with your healthcare provider. As I'm fond of saying, this is a tremor safe zone. Do not feel self-conscious in this room with our people, all of us around. Do not walk out of here without a good idea of at least one thing you can take ownership of and stick with. And that alone will start to make a difference in your health and in your life. Open the dialogue and be a little more free with your conversations and, and, and keep the optimism. Because as far as I know, this is our one shot at this beautiful life. And uh, you know, we, we all are in it together to make it uh, the best possible life. And that's the challenge, just making every day great.